yachts. This is the cruiser's yachts, 42 GLS. She's 42 feet long. She has triple 400 Mercury engines, 13 feet wide. And she'll run in the, uh, with this configuration, she'll run in the low 50s. Just a beautiful boat all in all. Here at our transom, we have a dive ladder on either side, triple Mercury 400 Verados powering this boat to a top speed in the low 50 mile an hour range. As we step aboard, we have sea deck everywhere. Two lines of 30 amp shore power just here. Beautiful aft facing bench seat with storage underneath it and aft firing speakers. We have a boarding gate. And look at this seating area here. Isn't that amazing? This is definitely, you know, eight people all day long. And uh, that would be to get them around the table. But, you know, if you're just hanging out, this is going to party at least 20 or 30 people if you wanted to. Massive countertop space here. More speakers. We have a cockpit television that can go out here. Plenty of storage in this boat. As you can see, we have all the cutouts for different bottle sizes. Bitcher Figo refrigerator. And that's a nice one. See how it has the built up sides. So you can take all these out and just load it up and go from the top down. Very nice. Bitcher Figo ice maker across the way. Now this is really cool. We have adjustable bar stools. So you can sit like this right here at the countertop, or when you're underway, just turn around and this pad becomes a really nice backrest. Here's our electric barbecue. And if you notice, we have vents everywhere. It is under the hard top, but with these vents, uh, it should be more than sufficient to get all of the smoke that you might have out of here. Again, more storage. Nice stainless steel sink. This whole area is air conditioned and heated and there is a canvas that will zip on if you'd like to fully enclose it. Um, this table is absolutely beautiful. It folds out. You can get quite a few people around this for dinner or lunch or just to hang out. Uh, storage underneath all of these. Here we have like a little storage shelf and some cup holders, which is nice for people that are here in the middle because this is such a large area. One, two, three, four, five right here, six, seven eight or nine maybe yeah very large area all right moving forward to the helm we have a simrad display here i don't think that's going to show up but right now i have it on engine gauges um, on this side i have my map great screens i can see them very well i just don't think they show up on camera here's your sea keeper control all of your switching stereo controls trim tab throttles, and this joystick is for docking, autopilot, and your skyhook function. Very nice. Here we have our ignitions. We have the sunroof open. Very nice wide sunroof. Helm seat, also very wide. You have an armrest here. The stitching accent is very well done. I like that. Yeah, that's a very large seat, and headroom in here is really good. I'm a uh, at the lowest point with my hat on, so that's a, that's a little over 6'5 right there. Very nice. Um, now, for the shorter amongst us, we have this beautiful step. I think that's going to work out well. And this uh, seat here will go fore and aft. It has a cup holder and wireless charger. And I like how this drains out. Here's your air conditioning vents for this area. And all in all, it's just a massive wide area. Line of sight, here's my eye line, is right here. I like that. Um, right on cruisers, you made a boat for tall people. Good on you. More storage. That's something this boat doesn't lack for, I tell you that. And this is, that's a very deep storage. All right, heading down into the cabin, we have a door and a screen door. Nice wood floors, another beautifully appointed table. And this table goes down, rests on these lips. There's a cushion that fills it in, and this is a very nice bed. 
I believe this back cushion flips up as well to give you more length. Here's your panel, hidden away, and again, tall guy friendly. It's up here where you can get a good look at it. It's very nice. Storage here, storage here, another storage here. Another of these nice Vitra Frigos. This one has a freezer. Now this television here pulls out and mounts out there in your, um, in your cockpit area. Microwave, little storage drawer below. Really beautifully appointed head and all the woodwork and the seals, everything looks great. Again, look at that guys. Well, let's see. So yeah, so it's about six, four and a half, six, five. Wow, those are so deep. Very cool. Sunken sink. I like how it comes up, but it's sunken down. Good countertop height. Again, the head sits up nice and high. This is a, a fully automatic head. Very nice. We have our shower curtains and our shower head here. All right. So here we have light and air conditioning controls. Uh, we have a storage cabinet back here. We have this really cool backrest. See this? So this is like a media room. And there's air conditioning vents everywhere, cup holders, chargers, reading lights. I mean, man, if I was a kid, this would be the best thing ever. I mean, if I like it now when I was a kid, or if I had a kid, I can imagine they're going to come on the boat and go straight down here. So here we have another large uh, Samsung television. I'm going to guess there's storage under this bed. Mm, no, just a bilge access, but a really beautiful area. And uh, let's check the headroom in here. I've got to try it. All right, just moving some stuff around. So we have all these cushions because the bow fills in and then the cushions forward. Oh, wow, look at that. All right. Very nice, and I am comfortable. I like it. I'd hang out here. This isn't just for kids. This is awesome. Middle of the boat, too. Yeah, I think this is a winner because you can watch TV this direction, and if you were to sleep this direction, you're going to have... Um, your feet won't be touching like this. You're going to have plenty of room. So, yeah, here's our filler cushions for the bow. We'll get to that. Onboard vacuum cleaner hose that plugs in right here. So right, right on. This is a great area. This is a great family boat. Again, this is my first time seeing it. I drove down here just to make this video, but as I walk around, I see more and more things that I like, like the two AC and heating vents blowing right on the people at the bar stools. All right, so here, when this walkthrough is closed, you can still open this and run like that underway. And then we have this gas shock. Here's our air dam. So this boat has the Seakeeper 6, so I imagine it's going to be very stable. Seakeeper 6 is good for up to 40,000 pounds. All right, so out here, this is another very large area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Cup holders for eight, yeah. Very cool. USB chargers. There's a table that slots in here. You have a filler cushion that fills this in to make a massive layout. And what a place to be with your feet up going 40 to Catalina this summer. Very cool. Here's your stereo controls. Okay, so then once you get to Catalina, you can remove these. There's rods that go in here. And then you put up a big sun sail sunshade over here. It hooks in just right there and right there. So you reach through the uh, sunroof and hook that on. And then these poles come up here. You have four of them in total and you make a nice sunshade out here. So windless anchor with hand controls here and then controls at the helm. Great handrails, cleats. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's cover some of the fun stuff. Hard top sunshade. Oh, there we go. So this is my favorite sunshade on the market. It's the Makefast. 
And as you notice, you only have to push the button once. I've also had a lot of experience with them in high wind, filling up with rain, running with them out, and they're just pretty bulletproof. Uh, so I really like this unit, really nicely done, made in England and really top notch. All right, what do we have next? Starboard Beach Open, we can't do that one because it's next to the dock. How about this one? Oh yeah. There's a lot of trends in boating that come and go, but this one I definitely like. All right, so look at that. What a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, that's nice. So what you can do is you can drop this down, flip this around, and then you're facing out over the water. You can also drop this one down as well and it just makes, you know, there's so many different things you can do here. I think I'd probably drop this one down, then I would sit here like this, and oh yeah, that's how they want you to do it, see? Cup holders right here, so chilling here, that's dropped down, talking to everybody right here, got my cup holders right here, and a backup plan over there if I need it. So with the push of a button at the helm, I've opened up this machinery space here in the aft portion of the cockpit. Let's go ahead and check this out. So our fuel tank starts here and goes forward. One big single tank. We have a diesel tank here for our generator. Here's our Onan generator here. Hydraulics for your platforms. Very fancy AGM batteries with 220 amp hours each. There's five of those. We have some Blue Sea systems uh, relays for turning on and off your battery switches. And notice how everything in here is labeled. This is a very easy boat to learn and a very easy boat to take somewhere and uh, have unfamiliar mechanics work on it if you kind of live out of the way. This is the uh, bell of the ball right here though. This is a Sea Keeper 6 gyro stabilizer. And there's a big gyro in there spinning in that bell and then those hydraulics shift it while it's spinning at about 10,000 RPMs and the torque that it throws off levels the boat. This one's good for a 40,000 pound boat. You would find this in a 50 foot Princess, 44 Tierra, or any boat, you know, 50 feet under 40,000 pounds. All your through hauls are easily accessible. Fuel filters also really easily accessible. We have a hot water heater over here. We have some more switches that I'll have to study up on so I can tell you what they are. All of your engine hydraulics, really everything's easy to get to and beautifully finished out. So all in all, this is a great space. I like it. Well, that's going to conclude our video. What did you think of the boat? I know it was a little long, but it was really fun to explore it with you. If you made it to this part of the video, please give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing.